Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. We're back to discuss the Patriots versus Jets as a post-game video. Um, did the one last week for Patriots versus uh, Miami and they lost last week by one point. Um, this week was a little bit better, better turnout. Uh, they went against the Jets, won 25 to six. Um, I think overall it was, it was a good game. I mean, it they, was. They, you know, cons they were consistent. I didn't think, obviously, I mean, the Jets, Definitely didn't help their help themselves. It was you know they too many too many inter interceptions by uh, Zach Wilson. Uh, he's got, he's, he is a rookie, so uh, th th things like that happen. Uh, I think their defense played really well. I, I think they, up until like I think to the even to the third quarter they were still in it. Think it, was, it wasn't like the Patriots were blowing them out. It was mm -hmm. just the interception that the defense really kept them in the game for the most part. Yeah, there was, you know, it was, it was definitely uh, a lot better game than last week. They, you know, there was not really that many turnovers, you know. I think there was only, I think, like one fumble. So they, they definitely improved on that a lot. And, but, you know, you also got to remember, too, I mean, it's the Jets. I mean, the Jets are always terrible every year. They're always bad. Well, I shouldn't say that. Last year, last year they were somewhat decent, but. Most of the time they're just horrible, but that's okay. But, um, but no, I mean, so it wasn't really that hard to beat them, but you know, it, it all depends on you know who they're facing because I mean, there's a lot of tough teams on their schedule this year. I mean, you know, I think you know, like we got Tampa Bay coming up in I think two weeks, so yeah. I think that's gonna be like the real challenge, you know, like to see. You know, because it, it'll come to show exactly how good the Patriots really are as a team. Like like Miami and the Jets, I mean, those are like kind of easy challenge type teams. But you get to play someone that's kind of hard to sort of figure out exactly how good the Patriots are. Yeah, I mean, you think I look at Miami, Miami beat, beat Patriots by one point and then they get demolished by Buffalo this week. I think there was a shutout. And I remember with the exact score, I believe they did get shut out 35 to nothing or something. So... It's kind of hard, hard to judge where the Patriots are. I think the Patriots definitely have a long way to go. Uh, Mac Jones is still a rookie. Yeah, he's not going to, you know, uh, light the world on fire, you know, by any stretch of the imagination. He's good. Don't I, mean, I think he's consistent. He's efficient. He doesn't make any mistakes, but he's not going to throw, at least not right now. He's still, I mean, maybe a, a year or two from now, he'll stop. Maybe he's not going to throw for 300. Yeah, they'd be shocked to do it for that. I mean, he's, you know, not going to be a lot of touchdowns every game. Yeah, no, he's he's the type of quarterback that, you know, I mean, you know, he he gets interviewed a lot and he's always saying, oh, you know, I watch a lot of, you know, the filming or whatever, a lot of the tapes or whatever. You know, he's just that type of guy that, you know, it's it's like, you know, he's very focused. He's very determined. And, you know, like I said, it's going to take him maybe another year or so to, you know, to officially say, okay, now he's really good. I mean, this is only his first season, but, you know, you, you just never know what may happen. I mean, yeah, he, he, may, he may become unbelievably good yeah, by also, week eight or also, something. He also could, could regress from and be done terrible. It's always hard to judge until, yeah. uh, until a quarterback is, you know, a few years into, the, into into their career. Most rookies don't come out, you know, don't start to become really good until, you know, like that third year. I mean, second, third year. Uh, I know Brady's one of the it was again, I forget what year he was. Was he a rookie when he took over? I don't remember. Anyway, so I think this week the the, the, the Jets defense, I think, played really well. I can't take anything away anyway from the defense. The offense is what really needs help. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, it's between the interceptions, and I still don't think they have enough talent on their offense to compete. Um, if maybe next year, we'll see how Zach Wilson goes and progresses throughout the year. Maybe, maybe he'll probably get better throughout the year, hopefully. Um, I forget what he was picked. Was he picked? Third overall, I don't remember to be honest with you. Um, but I think through the first half, at least, they were in the game, and the defense was holding the Patriots, you know, from you know, getting in the end zone. I think the most they would, they kicked five field goals today, I think it was. I mean, Matt Jones wow. didn't throw any, any touchdown passes. So, they, so they had, yeah, two rushing touchdowns. So it was all field goals. So they were keeping them out of the end zone for the most part. And I think that there was just too many, too many minutes that you can't throw four interceptions and win a game. So you, no. gotta, you know, hope your defense can carry you through most of the game. It's just very hard to do that. I think they need, definitely need more more talent on the on their offense. Who was their top receiver? Braxton Barrios. I mean, 
I, I don't know. I don't know much much about the guy. I just don't think he's a real number one. I think they need more talent. They need they need better tight end. So uh, the Patriots need more talent. Well, yeah, I think the Patriots did. They they, they still have a long. The, the defense I still think needs work, especially their 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 rushing defense. Um, I mean, the Patriots signed uh, the tight the tight end from um, the Titans, uh, Hunt. Who, yeah, uh, Hunter Henry. Yeah, and he he was unbelievably good in last year. He was he was really. I think good. he's done so good. I mean, he, I forget he had a couple of catches last game. He had two more this this game. I, I mean, I think through the offensive because they have a rookie quarterback, they're not going to not going to see guys getting you know hundred yard games with you know two or three touchdown receptions every game. It's not going to happen. Um, it's still early in the season to to judge exactly. Yeah. What they're going to do for the rest of the season, um, I still think when they go against Tampa Bay, they're going to get. Destroyed. That's what I think. It's end. either I'm either gonna say it's gonna be that, or or it's gonna be kind of like a back and forth game, you know, between both teams. Like it's like one team will strike first and the other one will strike back. Like like it's gonna be like, you know, one of those hold on to your seat type yeah, games. I don't know. I mean, they, they lost Miami by one. Miami is destroyed by Buffalo. They go against the Jets. Who you are? You know what? You know, what you I'll, really like I'll honestly be. To say. I'll be pretty shocked if the Patriots can beat Tampa Bay. I think if they could, it's not going to be a blowout. I think they would beat no, them. No, no way. It would be, they probably would beat them probably by a field goal I mean, at the they, latest. Right now they're going against Atlanta. I think they're, what, 45 to 17. They're still playing they're, right they're, now. I don't know what the score is right now, but I don't think they're, they're, Atlanta's getting destroyed. Do we have Do we have the score on us? We need to have, like, someone. We need to print out, like, all the. Oh, these are all yeah, fine. Yeah. Is the game it's over? over here. No, it's back over here. Hold on one second, Mark. We just have it. It's over here. Where is it? So they won. Tampa Bay won 48-25 to against Atlanta. So, I mean, for the game just ended. Yeah, just for you, I think, two for at least five touchdowns. I mean, Tampa Bay's going to be really difficult to beat. I, I just don't see it happen. Their the, the defense is just too young, and they don't have enough talent yet to, to, to beat Tampa Bay, at least not with a young quarterback. I mean, if they don't. This guy, if it actually was just maybe second or third year, it'd be better. It'd probably be a better fight against them. And probably plus, you also got to remember too. I mean, Brady was with the Patriots for twenty something years, so he's he knows everything in Bill Belichick's playbook about what what plays he's gonna call. Like he's just gonna know on the top of his head, you know what Bill Belichick is gonna do. So I, I think that's gonna be another key advantage. For Tampa Bay going up against the Patriots. We'll see. I mean, see, it's always going to go against quarterbacks previously. They, you know, the Patriots defense has an easier time because they know what their weaknesses. But still, Tampa Bay, they have a ton of talent. So, I, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be close. Yeah. Um, anyway, the only way to go against Tampa Bay is not the two. But overall, this, this game was good. Patriots still need some work. With you know both you know both the defense and the offense, yeah. Main, mainly the offense still needs a little bit of work. He needs to get out there, you know, try throwing it a little bit more. You know, may, maybe try. Yeah, get, they, well, they have some injuries on their offensive line. If they try, well, they try Brown, their offensive lineman, he got hurt. I think his back got hurt today, so I think there was on their third guy on a uh, position to tackle or whatever. Yeah. Um, but next next week we're playing the Saints next week, so, yeah, so we'll see I think. Else. I think that's going to be the start of the challenge because the Saints are a very good team. Yeah, so we'll see how see how it works. I did think that. I think not, you know they beat the, the Jets fairly easily, but not don't I would take away the, any away from the Jets defense. They just the offense just did too many uh, too many mistakes to win the game. Um, defense held them, and the Patriots are you know they're pretty good. Yeah. Uh, very consistent. No, no major mistakes. So that's, that's that's a plus. Yes. So I think they were going to wrap this one up. So overall, good game. Looking forward to next week's game. So we'll be doing another post game for that one. So if you guys can tune in for that, we appreciate it. Yeah. So as always, hit that like and subscribe. Until next time.